back window that said simply smart as well. Type in your date of birth, which changes the time circuits. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, this thing can't even get to 80 miles an hour. So this, this goes back to the future of 44. Yeah, it's 80 oh, yeah. miles an hour down here with a wind behind you. Well, you can't even, yeah, on the dial, I remember doing a video, it's like, this is 80 on the dash, and there is no 88. No. Not on these ones. Right? It'd be scary taking that to 88 miles an hour. We've got 95 out of mine. We're like pushing it. To get started, I will start with our first runner-up, and that is this one over here. So if I could have the owner over to come and collect your prize. Bruno here has had his car for just over a year, and he has done pretty much everything to it and spent quite a lot of money. He has done all of the paintwork, the detailing, done a big sound system, and put in custom exhausts. So I would give a big round of applause to Bruno for all of the hard work he's put into his car. Thank you. And now we will go to our second runner-up. And that is the Back to the Future style car. So if I could get the owner over here, and I know he will be very happy to talk about his car for you a little bit. Yeah, um, we've, we've been up here before to other shows, so we've had Batmobiles and all sorts of things up here, because we build props for film and TV, so we build a lot of kind of strange looking cars. And uh, we wanted to do a Back to the Future car for quite a while, but uh, considering DeLorean was quite a lot of money, um, we just thought it is the next best iconic car has got to be a smart car. So you mix a DeLorean Back to the Future time machine with a smart car and that's what you get. So it was fun, it was fun. Thank you very much. Last but not least, that leaves our winner. Thank you. <laughs> and Ian, you too, so happy to talk to us a little bit about his car. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to sound like Lewis Hamilton and say thank you for everybody voting for me. I rescued this from a field in Wales just about a year ago now. It was in a horrible hole state. Um, it is an ex easy grass car, which a lot of people may have seen driving around. It was horrible before that. And um, we're stuck on, on the, some new grass on. Um, 
changed the interior because it had a dog living in it for about three years <laughs> and um, painted everything green and most importantly took the terrible engine out of it stuck a Brabus Roadster engine in it custom exhaust and now it's got 125 brake it can do 70 miles an hour <laughs> oh yeah and of course Kevin the Carrot <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming, your prizes and trophy is there. So thank you for joining us for Simply Smart. Obviously last year it was a shame that it got cancelled, but we're very pleased that it could go ahead today with a lovely sunny day and a really good turnout. So thank you and we hope to see you all again next year. Bye! Yes. If it was dark, I'd put all the lights on underneath it, and the mouth lights up, and the nose lights up, and everything. I can't do that because it's dark. Give me a lift home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sit in the back seat. Be fine. This is the first thing I've ever won in my entire life. It is. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.